I gotta keep this video very simple because I'm on my way to a pool party. Um, I just want to talk about how to transition back into spirituality. Supreme Peja Mayat, the kiss of truth and death. If you are more focused on my boobs than on the message you already don't lost me, you already don't lost, got lost in the sauce, period. Listen to the message. How to transition back into spirituality. Um, one of my teachers, which is Douglas Ashe Ashe Falk, and another one of my teachers, Dr. Natural, they always um, talk about like acceptance. You know what I'm saying? Like accepting who you are, accepting where you come from, accepting that we are in a matrix that has been um, dominated and ruled by um, European and England leaders. So with that being said, you have to come into acceptance of that first. I know I did, personally. Um, you have to be able to move forward. And then for some of you guys who want to know why I got on this white coat, I'm an herbalist, okay? Sometimes I get calls, I'm on my way to have fun with my family, and I have to stop, and I have to, I have to blend up mysteries for people who suffer um, with arthritis, who suffer with um, osteoporosis, who suffer with diabetes, who suffer with um, not being able to uh, lose uh, the amount of weight that they want to at a proper time. I told y'all, I am your neighborhood doctor, okay? Um, then it's time to move forward. Once you once you figure out that you're in a Western society, once you figure out that this society is uh, the world that we live in, that we have been living in for a while, is ran on a patriotic system, you understand that The highest creation, the highest force, doesn't necessarily have to be a man. You see, um, this patriotic society has taught us has taught us that men are supposed to technically lead everything. And although men do have their areas, it needs to be a balance. Okay. Another thing I want to talk about is, and, and when I say a balance, that means that we cannot, as a whole, we cannot be ran off of our emotions. All right? Because women have been taught to be more emotional, and men have been taught to be more logic. But where's the balance in, the, in some of the women being logic and some of the men having, being in tune with more of their emotions, being in tune with their feminine side? Because we all have feminine and masculine uh, attributes about ourselves. You feel me? We all have that in ourselves. Um, <laughs> eat healthy. I know I'm not going to even, I'm not going to go down that route of telling you guys you're going to go to quote unquote hell for eating pork. But it's, it's a low vibration of food. They have no sweat glands. So all the toxins uh, all the poison that they accumulate in their body, you now put that in your body. Um, I'm not going to beat it, beat it over in one head about eating any type of animal, but I just want to say that, you know, when you go out and you eat those animals who have been slain and slaughtered, those animals have attitudes before they die. They are scared and fearful. Before they die, they are filled with rage so you go and you consume that chicken you consume that bacon you consume um, the, <laughs> those ham hogs uh, wh whatever it is that you're consuming and then five minutes later you wonder why you're angry or why you're depressed baby that chicken was depressed as hell when you was about to eat it when he was about to die so that you're you now have that energy transferring within yourself versus my blueberries and my blackberries, they know that they are being cultivated and harvested to support a family, to heal our body because we're all one. Okay? Another thing, um, so it's a lot of distractions, people out here with their dogs, but it's okay, we're gonna get through this. It, you know, distractions, distractions are for weak, for the weak. We, we don't do distractions. Um, another thing I wanna say, cut the alcohol. Okay, cut the stick up. 
And I call we stick up. You feel me? I got that from my great grandma. Cut the stick up out. A lot of this stick up is not homegrown anymore. A lot of this stick up is being grown in pharmaceutical companies, the, the same pharmaceutical companies that has given us diabetes and cancer and ulcers for taking their products. The same pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical company that rather tell you, that rather give you a muscle relaxer for acid reflux than to tell you to go eat healthy. You know, a lot of our doctors are not equally um, trained to talk about herbs and to talk about fruits and vegetables that are going to essentially keep you from having to spend all your hard earned working money, you feel me? Okay, so then I wanna say another way to um, transition back into spirituality. Um, for me, I had to cut out a, um, I had to cut out, I like humans, okay? I like, I love interacting with humans. Um, but for me, I had to, I had to understand that not all humans love me and love their, and, and, and wanted a genuine connection with me. So with that being said, it's, we as a collective have to understand that there's levels to sex. You feel me? It's not, it's just, oh, I see you, you see me, let's go hook up in the bathroom because you're not transferring energy again. You have to be selective because there are some people out here that are energy vampires. There are some people out here that just... They just want to. They just want to suck your energy dry. Um, you know our orgasms. They're our garden of youth. You feel me? Um, those are our the, our elixirs, our energies. That's why I am. You know, in my last video, I talked about no fap, which is no masturbating, no watching porn. You know. Um, not releasing the orgasm, keeping your energy to to yourself, and, and 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 if you do decide to please yourself, you know, understand how to manifest what you desire in your own life. You feel me? Um, if you do decide to orgasm, understanding how, understanding what your what that elixir that's coming out of your body, what benefits it has, it has, which is clearing the face, which is growing the hair, which is growing the plant. Especially to you, to those of you who like to smoke stick up. Grow your own stick up. <laughs> Use your own elixir to grow your own stick up. Then you know, you know what's, what's on it. And if you're eating healthy, if you're eating the proper fruits and vegetables and getting your teas and you getting your elixirs in you. <laughs> getting your colloidal silver in you. Your monatomic gold in you. Your nether root, your diamond, you're getting your herbs in you. Then you know that with you know that all it's, it's just a constant high vibrational energy. High vibrational energy. Also, um, and this is my last thing. Like coming into back into switching, transitioning back into spirituality, you cannot let everyone know. I'm not saying that you have to you know, just hide what you believe in or hide your true self. I'm not telling you to hide your true self. I'm not telling you to deny you being connected to the almighty, to, to, to creation, to nature. But you cannot, you can do whatever you want to do. It's free will. But I would suggest not running to people and telling them, hey, I just talked to my ancestors. Because those people who are still moving in the 3D dimensional realm, they're gonna beat you up. Maybe not physically, but verbally, mentally, financially. I also put out a video about, like to the young people who still living at home with their parents and their parents are still moving in, in bot ways or moving as agents or, or don't even want to um, expand their mind to a, to a higher expansion. You have to be careful. Manifest what you desire. Write it down. You don't have to tell everybody what you're doing in life. You feel me? Cause not everybody gonna, not everybody's gonna be accepted. Some people just wanna keep you at a low vibration because they're scared to move forward. You feel me? All right, and I'm, that's all I wanted to share uh, share with you all today. Um, 
I would say check out Natural. I would uh, N T R A. Dr. Natural. Uh, he also has a page called Cosmic Cell Foods. Cosmic Cell Productions. Ricardo Rich. I also listen to uh, one of my teachers, Conjure Queen. Conjure Queen. Also, Douglas Ashe Ashe Falk. Uh, Shanetta Divine Terry. Powerful people. Powerful people. Supreme Beja Mayat. Powerful persons. Powerful spirits that are having human experiences. Don't forget that. Everything that you need is within yourself. Yes, you can definitely go out and connect with more scholars, gain more knowledge, but you don't need a middleman. You are creation. You are divine. Supreme.